What's going on guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon and today we will be talking about the three new Pokemon non-legendaries introduced in the latest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer. That is of course Lechonk, Smoliv, and Palmy. So for today's video we will not only be talking about how they are relevant to the region which is set in the Iberian Peninsula, Spain, and Portugal but also how these Pokemon are relevant to the themes present in Scarlet and Violet. I'm super excited about this. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so first we're going to talk about how they tie into the region, how they are relevant to Spain and Portugal, and first we are going to begin with Lechonk. Lechonk is a pig, but it's not just any pig. It is a Black Iberian pig, which is native to, you guessed it, the Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain and Portugal, of course. They can be found in Spain and Portugal, so kind of all over the Iberian Peninsula. And if you look at Lechonk's name, it comes from Lechon, which is a suckling pig, so like a newborn pig. And it comes from Honk, which is kind of like the little noise that a pig makes. So that makes sense. Now, moving into Smoliv. Smoliv is a small olive. Olives are super common in Spain and Portugal. There are tons of vineyards. They're very well known for their, Spain and Portugal that is, are very well known for their wine and for their olive oil. So small olive being here just makes sense. And whether you're adding it to your team or not, I, I'm not planning on adding it. You got to admit, small olive, genius name, genius design. Love it. Then moving into Pommy. Pommy is actually very easily explained. Pommy is clearly a groundhog, garden dormouse, rodent, pika clone thing. Uh, we <laughs> actually see a lot of inspirations from this one. You know, you look at Lechonk and you know, oh, that's a pig. You look at Smoliv and you know, oh, that's an olive. But Pommy, you kind of look at it and it, it takes a minute to figure it out. It says it's the electric mouse Pokemon. So I think most people are thinking dormouse on this one as the garden dormouse is found throughout Spain and Portugal, uh, but its orange coloring kind of suggests that it could be based off of other types of Dormouse that are not native to Spain, but then its ears look very similar to the Garden Dormouse, and then its Japanese name uses the Japanese word for Groundhog, so it, it seems to be pulling inspiration from a lot of places, which I love. You know, Pokemon designs, they do that sometimes. They have multiple inspirations, so I love that they're doing that here. For Pommy. Now, obviously that's how they fit into the Iberian Peninsula, into Spain and Portugal, but how do they fit into the themes of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? The two themes that we know are present in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is the Age of Exploration. Uh, this is a very big part of Spain and Portugal's history, the real world Age of Exploration. Spain and Portugal were arguably the biggest players in the Age of Exploration and the real world. And uh, you can definitely see this in the starters, which I did talk about in a previous video, if you do want to check that out. But this is also Pokemon's Age of Exploration. This is the first true, fully blown, open world Pokemon game. You can explore it with your friends and multiplayer. Uh, you can do it in any order you want. It's not dictated by story. You can go to the very top of the map, the very right, the very left, the very bottom, whatever you want to do from the get-go. So it is literally Pokemon's Age of Exploration. Now the other theme present, if you couldn't already guess this by looking at the legendaries, is tradition or preservation versus innovation. So what that means is kind of keeping to tradition and your culture and staying rooted in the past versus innovation like technological innovation and you know who knows we're not super knowledgeable on what this game entails maybe it's even innovation as in just progress as a society but these pokemon that are introduced actually represent these things and here's how the first we're going to begin with lechonk lechonk like i said is a black iberian pig iberian pigs are super adored in Spain and Portugal and not just because they're cute but also because they taste delicious and so these Iberian pigs are now farmed and are now uh, used for their meat they are grown for their meat so not only is that kind of 
an innovation thing in that we've begun farming these animals for their meat. But it's also a uh, age of exploration thing as Iberian ham is a big export of Spain and Portugal. There's actually a Spanish restaurant right near me and their big ticket item is their Iberian ham. And it is straight from Spain and Portugal. So that's pretty cool. Also, another detail we know about Le Chonk is that Le Chonk uses its sense of smell to be able to figure out foods and all this. And this is actually something that pigs are well known for. Pigs have an incredible sense of smell. And I think that the idea here is we're probably going to say, see places in the region where they use Le Chonk's sense of smell to kind of figure out the best ingredients to use or in gourmet and restaurants native to the scarlet and violet region similar to how in the real world we have used animals for their really good sense of smell for our own benefit such as how we use dogs to sniff out any kind of weaponry or you know any kind of drugs or anything like that we've utilized a dog's sense of smell and other animals too Moving into small live, our favorite small olive. Small live is an olive. It's just an olive. Olives are native to Spain and again are cultivated and are used for the many things you can make from olives. So again, there's your tradition versus innovation and also your age of exploration as olives and olive products are a huge export of Spain. Furthermore, if we look at small olives information that we see from the main Pokemon website, it talks about how small olive has an oil in it and it talks about how that oil is not really great to consume. Like people don't like it. It's not good. No one wants that. But maybe we'll see this change as it evolves as olives kind of have to mature and most fruits have to mature before we can really utilize them. So who knows, maybe small olives evolution will be a Pokemon where instead of, oh, the oil's too bitter, we don't like that. It's the oil is loved across the region and this Pokemon is favored among chefs. So we could literally see the tradition versus innovation in small olives evolution, watching it become something that we use for its abilities and its properties. Now, Palmy, once again, very simple. Palmy is just a little rodent. So there's your, you know, traditional. It's just a classic rodent. And then it is also very innovative as its paws. It talks about how it'll rub it on its cheeks and then touch the opponent and it'll send out a shockwave. And this is based off of a defibrillator. So that's actually really cool. Not only is it just a generic rodent, a generic Pika clone, but it is also based off of one of the greatest innovations that humans have invented. We're talking about a device that can literally bring people back from the dead. So there's your answer for Palmy. It doesn't get more straightforward than that. If you do need us to go into it more, just to get a little speculative, Palmy, people are kind of speculating to evolve. They think it looks like a very basic design. And for the record, I agree with this. I think that Palmy will evolve. And it looks like it's going to go a little bit further. And this would be a return to the traditional Pikachu. Because all the Pikachu clones are these generic base stage Pokemon. And they don't evolve at all. You know, Imaga, Togedemaru, they don't evolve. So this would be a return to Pikachu with it actually receiving an evolution, just like Pikachu had Raichu. So there you have it, guys. Those are the ways that the three new Pokemon that are not legendaries introduced in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's latest trailer, Lechonk, Smoliv, and of course, Pommy, are relevant to not only Spain and Portugal as a region, but also to the themes presented in Scarlet and Violet. Be sure to let me know what you think of these. Be sure to let me know which of these three will be on your team and why or why not and also be sure to like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications we talk about all things pokemon we're going to be breaking down all the other pokemon they introduce down the road we're going to be talking more about these guys i'm sure we're going to be talking about everything scarlet and violet and other stuff on the side that deals with pokemon until next time i will see all of you later